The Saptakoteshwar Temple in Norway Goa is a holy place that is known as the Lord of Saptarshis. Saptakoteshwar Temple of Norway in Goa is one of the oldest and holiest of places in Goa. In Sangameshwar Kshetra Mahatmya there is a mention of 10 places in the Konkan region that are holy. Norway is mentioned as one of them. It is believed that seven great rishis did tapas at the site of the confluence of the Panchaganga river and the sea for 7 crore years to please Lord Shiva. Pleased with their devotion, Lord Shiva appeared to them and offered them a boon. The rishis requested him to make his abode in the same spot and requested him to be there for 7 crore or saptakoti years. Since then the lingam came to be known as Saptakoteshwar. In Dwapara Yuga, Sri Krishna is said to have worshipped at this temple when he had to escape from Mathura due to Jarasandha's repeated attacks. After worshipping Lord Shiva here, Sri Krishna established his kingdom at Dwaraka. The Sahyadri Khand of Konkan Puran mentions that the temple of Saptakoteshwar is located on an island called Deepavati. The Kadamba rulers of Goa were great devotees of Sri Saptakoteshwar. They minted golden coins that refer to them as Sri Saptakotesha Varavish Jayakeshi Deva Malvar Mari. However, in the year 1352, the Bahamani Sultan Gangu Bahamani defeated the Kadambas and conquered Goa. A systematic persecution and conversion of Goan Hindus began under his tyrannical rule. Many temples were destroyed including Sri Saptakoteshwar. The Shivalingam was thrown in a field in the island of Deepavati or today's Diwadi. But after the rise of the Vijayanagar Empire, a minister of Emperor Harihara Raya, Madhav Mantri, rebuilt the temple in the year 1391. After more than 100 years of peace, the Portuguese defeated the forces of Adil Shah and conquered the islands of Goa and Diwar in 1510. They were even more fanatical than the Muslims. They destroyed almost all Hindu temples in the territory under their control and built churches there. Saptakoteshwar was one of the first temples to be destroyed. Around 1540, the Shivalingam was forcibly removed from the temple and established at the foot of a well so that newly converted people could step on it. Italian traveler Andre Cosali has mentioned this in his letters to Rome. A Jesuit priest Francisco de Souza has mentioned in his book Orienti Conquistado published in late 17th century that Jesuits exulted at the destruction of the temple of Saptakoteshwar. In 1560 more than 1500 Hindus left on the island of Diwar were forcibly converted to Christianity. and the remains of the temple were completely razed to the ground a chapel called candelaria chapel was built at the exact same spot in 1563 it is believed that soon after this a hindu from the neighboring bhatgram district narayan chenvi suryarao desai had a vision in his dream where lord saptakoteshwar appeared to him and directed him to the shivalingam and asked him to keep it safe He took the Shivalingam from the spot near the well in Diwar and he transferred it to Norway. In 1664, the great Hindu king Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj conquered Bhatgram Mahal. When he came to know about the Saptakoteshwar temple and how it has been destroyed twice, he saw the Lingam of Saptakoteshwar and decided to re-establish the Lingam in a new temple. He did the Bhumi Pujan himself. Shivaraja Abhishek Kalpataru mentions this incident in the following shlokas Drishtva Tirthani Sarvani Saptakoti Shwarangatah Shivaraja Kritam Tatra Devalaya Manuttama Drishyate Durato Lokaihi Kailasa Iva Parvataha Jirano Dhare Krite Punyam Nutna Koti Gunam Bhavet